Kay McNulty was born in 1921 in this house, built by her father just outside Chrysler. The family emigrated to Philadelphia, where she would earn a degree in mathematics and become a computing pioneer. They left here uh, when she was about three years of age, a native Irish speaker. She learned to uh, speak English by the time she had started national school. They were the American equivalent of national school, and that's where she was, so clearly a very bright person from a very young age. Kay McNulty worked on the ENIAC, the world's first digital computer. But conscious her achievements were not fully recognised in her lifetime, the people of Chrysler decided to honour Kay with a permanent testimonial in the village. And her granddaughter came to see that tribute unveiled today. I don't think it's been fully understood the degree to which uh, the problem was really handed in women's laps to figure out. She said they had to spend basically all night and they woke in well into the wee hours of the morning figuring out how they were going to program the computer. There wasn't the word program at the time. They literally created programming at that time. And that went on uh, most of the month of July of 1946, we're talking about now. So uh, I had a lot of fun working on that machine. She was married to John, Dr. John Mockley, who was the inventor of the NIAC computer that she learned to program. And I suppose for many years, uh, his name was came to the fore in that. But really, Kay and five other women were the first to learn how to program the computer they developed. And I think that's what's really important. It was almost against the grain of who was working in technology at the time. And so they were uh, very much pioneers. They really did set the, the standard of computing to, to, to follow and the computerized world that we live in today. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Creasa, County Donegal.